Let's go through how to do integration using Surat V5. First, you need to have several samples. We can organize the data into uh, specific folders, for example, sample one, sample two, and sample three. Sample one gonna contains the barcode TSP file, feature TSP file, and the, the matrices. Please check the other video about uh, what's the data that being specifically presented in the barcode feature and matrix file. Now you have three samples. Uh, sample one, two, three. For sure, you can have way more samples than this, but we're gonna integrate the three samples as an example, right? All right, to integrate the three samples, let's first import the library Surat. We're gonna run the code, and then we're gonna import the sample. For example, the sample one data gonna equal to, we're gonna use read 10x function, and provide it the directory, right? The directory gonna be data, directory can equal to the specific folder name depends on where you put it here for example we're gonna use the sample ones folder name and copy this folder use this one as a data directory but if you're using windows just to remember to check this one to backslash and this one all right this is a sample one we're gonna copy and paste it load it the data two and data three data two data two and data three. All right, we're gonna read the three files and the three files you wanna see on the right side, the environment will load the data, sample one, sample two, and sample three data. All right, after creating the data, we'll be able to uh, create a Surat object for the three samples. For example, the sample one gonna equal to create Surat object. Surat object. The count value is going to equal to sample one dot data, and we're going to name this project. So this project is going to equal to the sample one. All right. We're going to do the same for the other. If you don't know how to execute the command, you can select this line or put uh, your mouse cursor any of the nine. Um, press Control and Enter at the same time. It will execute the name. Uh, execute this command or you can simply click run they will do the same thing all right let's copy and paste it for sample two and sample three this is sample two and sample three we're gonna run these other two lines this will create a three suret object we're gonna see them over here so this is a suret object and this is a raw data we load it next that we're gonna merge the sample so the sample uh, merged we're going to create a new variable which is the new Surat object the merge function we're going to just simply use the merge function the merge function we're going to merge sample one which is going to be the input and the things we're going to merge with sample one is the sample two and sample three sample two and the sample three we're gonna we can add the uh, cell id over here which is uh, you can name it as a sample one sample two and sample three but if you're dealing with some healthy data, you can edit one as a control data, one as the test data or normal data or cancer data. That depends on your uh, data set. So we can use uh, add cell IDs. Gonna equal to the first one gonna be the uh, the sample one's name. We can also name it as a uh, sample one. And we're gonna name the second one as the sample two. The third one is sample three. And we're gonna rename the whole project, give it also give it whole project as the uh, sample uh, integrated. Execute this command. After merge, you can check the table as like a sample uh, merged one. We can check the original identity, which is gonna tell you uh, where does this data comes from. This should be sample one, two, and three. After running this one, you're gonna see there is a sample merged. Oh, we haven't run this command yet. After running this one, we'll see this table merged origin identity. It should be sample one, two, and three. Oh, there's one typo. So for here, like we should uh, name the project as sample one, two, and three. Otherwise, you know, everything will be named as sample one, right? We're gonna rerun this uh, three lines of code. And after doing that, we're going to merge it and check the table. Okay, now we have uh, 1,600 um, cells from sample one, 700 from sample two, 
and 25,100 from sample three, right? This is how all the data. But I want to do the integration. But why we need to do the integration? Let's first visualize if we don't do any kind of integration, what the data would look like. So it will be sample merged. We're going to first normalize the data, which is going to be the uh, standard procedure, like a pre-processing for all kinds of data. If you don't know how to do the standard processing, you can check the other video for a speed run of all kinds of pre-processing of the data for single cell sequencing data. So sample the merged. First, uh, after normalization, we're going to find uh, variable features. This will going to equal sample merged. And after that, we're going to do sample merged. After we're going to scale the data, we're going to scale the data which is also going to be the sample uh, merged. And after that, we're going to do uh, RAM PCA, which is the dimensional reduction. RAM, RAM PCA. This is going to be the sample merged as well. So let's execute this line and this line and this one. And uh, we're going to find the labors sample merged um, find uh, neighbors this is going to be the sample uh, merged as well we're going to decide it the dimension but for now we can use the before it is 1 to 30 that's the uh, you can test the other dimensional selection as well and the re reduction method is going to be the uh, PCA right so this one has provided the scale data and I have identified the variable. Let's run this uh, uh, labors. Uh, further, we're gonna find uh, clusters, sample merged. Um, we can find cluster, find clusters. The data will be in sample as well. Sample merged and the resolution gonna equal to two. And the cluster name here you can give it any kind of name uh, for now because we haven't integrated the data we can simply name it as um, you know I integrate it and integrate it um, like uh, I integrate a cluster All right so we can compute this one we can run umap and show the dimensional uh, cluster map which is going to be sample merged and that is going to be run uh, umap, run umap, and the input is going to still be the same sample merge. Yeah, we're always going to be using the same kind of data set and keep on revising it. So we're processing the same kind of uh, uh, shared object over here. The dimension is going to be 1 uh, to uh, 30, and reduction will still be the PCA. Reduction will be PCA. And the uh, reduction name, we can give it a reduction uh, name. Reduction name going to be the UMAP, and it's going to be, um, we can also call it just um, an integrated UMAP. All right, let's execute this one. After doing everything, we can you know now visualize the results visualization is called dimensional plot which is the sample merged will be the input the reduction will equals to the reduction which is going to be the umap right so we can call it, it as a umap uh, i integrated i integrated umap and we're going to group this one group the data by the original identity. What is original identity? If you remember over here, it comes from three samples, right? Sample one, two, three. So it will shows up sample one, sample two, and sample three. So let's call it original uh, identity. So let's uh, plot it this one out. This is, remember, this is the data before. So we can click zoom. This one will give us a much larger uh, image, show the results. So you can see the data is kind of clustered, like distributed everywhere. And the sample one, two, three, for some of the clusters, they are, you know, 
different from each other. They are not really merged. This is possibly caused by the um, you know batch effect because the data was collected from different patients. Supposedly, there are going to be some systematic errors, either due to technique issues or sequencing issues. So we want to integrate them together for each cluster. We want to has a composition from all the three samples. For example, something like this looks much better because this cluster supposedly have the cells from all different samples, right? But it's still a little bit far away from each other from some of them. So we can create some like a false positive clusters, uh, but that's something we don't really want. In Surat V5, the integration is very straightforward, just a one line of code. So we're gonna say like the sample uh, integrated, let's call, rename it as integrated, as integrate layer. So it's just a one line code, just a called integrate layers. The object is equal to the sample merged. And the method we're going to first use is called uh, harmony. The harmony is actually um, the method I would recommend because it's very fast. For most of computers, you would be able to do this. For other methods, you're probably going to need a much high end computer because that's really computationally inefficient. So I would recommend using the harmony. So the method we call is called uh, harmony integration. Uh, harmony integration. And uh, just the integration over here. And we're gonna use the original reduction. Original reduction gonna equals PCA, which is the principal component analysis. If you don't have a if you want to have a you know deeper understanding about PCA, I can I'm gonna make make another video explaining uh, what is PCA and how we can achieve this one using the SURAT. The original reduction gonna be PCA, right? The new uh, reduction we're gonna give it a new name. It's called Harmony. All right, that's a new name. You can name it to other stuff, but I would recommend using the default name, just Harmony. The verbose, which is um, something gonna tells you the process. We can name it as a true, so you can see the process in real time. All right, let's do this sample integration. And you'll see it potentially gonna take some time, um, especially when the data is incredibly large, that will take quite some time. So it depends on your data set, and depends on your computer, whether it's you know super powerful or not. This could take, you know, from minutes, hours to days, All right? This one is uh, fairly fast. You can see it's uh, gonna maybe take just, you know, one to two minutes to finish the processing. Uh, but here it's just using a, a relatively smaller sample uh, for the demonstration. All right, the integration has finished. We want to see um, how it looks like, right? Uh, what we can do is after the integration, we can find labels, clusters, and visualize this integrated uh, results again and compare with the I integrated one. So we can call this one as a sample integrated. We're gonna find the uh, labels again. Find neighbors, the data will be sample integrated. And the reduction here, the reduction gonna be equal harmony, which is we name it here. If you name it to other kind of method, you should keep them the same. So harmony and the uh, uh, dimensions we're gonna use is one to 30. All right, this is the sample. Uh, after integration, let's find the uh, clusters. Um, so it's gonna be sample, integrated, and define clusters. The, uh, the data will still be this uh, sample integrated. The resolution will be the resolution will be two, and the cluster uh, name the, here you can name it anything because later on when we visualize the data, uh, we will recall this name. Let's just simply call it the harmony cluster. Harmony cluster. All right. Let's run uh, this one as well. This is fine cluster. And that's after that, we're going to do the sample um, integrated and uh, run uh, UMAP again. 
uh, the data will still be the sample integrated. The reduction going to be uh, harmony, the same harmony. Uh, dimensions we use. Dimensions we use going to be 1, 2, 30 as well. And reduction name. Uh, reduction name going to here be harmony you map. Let's run this one. Now we can do the dimensional plot again. We can visualize the data. So it's the dimensional plot. The input will be the sample uh, integrated. Sample integrated. The reduction is going to be something uh, we named it here. It's called a harmony um, UMAP. Harmony UMAP. And we're going to group them still by the same, right? The original identity. Original identity. And let's plot this one out. This will be the dimension plot. You can see for each cluster, we can see fairly integrated data, but you know, it's not perfect, right? But for some of the clusters, they are much closer to each other. We can compare it with the previous one. Some of the clusters are really far away from each other. Here, they are a little bit closer. And for this cluster, they have the data from all samples. This one also have the data from all samples, right? So this is one of the method. Second method we try, let's try, and let's call the CCA uh, method. It's kind of CCA integration. The only thing we need to change is uh, integration method. The method is not going to be harmony integration. The method is called uh, CCA integration. CCA integration. Uh, maybe you can just call it a CCA uh, integration. All right, let's run this one. This, oh, uh, there is no uh, parentheses. So let's run this one. It's got a CCA integration. After the thing, same thing, right? We're gonna visualize the results. So we're gonna change everything accordingly. The reduction is no longer be uh, harmony. It's gonna be the CCA integrated. CCA integrated. And uh, the second one is no longer a harmony cluster. It's gonna be CCA cluster. The reduction gonna be uh, CCA integration as well. CC integration, and this is going to be CCA UMAP. CCA UMAP, and the for the plot function is also going to be called a CCA UMAP. You're going to see the CCA method will take quite some time. It's going to be much longer than Harmony, uh, but here again we're using a relatively small data set, so it should be okay. All right, the integration has finished. What we can do is try to visualize the data. This is the integration, right? That we can uh, find the layers and uh, find the clusters and run the UMAP and do the dimensional plot. All right, you can see this is the new dimensional uh, reduction. You can see, you know, in general, I would say CCA performs most of the time would be better than other method, but it's computationally inefficient. So it depends on your computer, right? You're going to see this one. Most of the clusters are going to contain data from all samples. So there is much less batch effect compared with Harmony. So you're going to do a much better job. That's my impression. Okay. So this is a CCA integration. The other one, the third one is called RPCA integration. So that one is called RPCA uh, integration. The method we're going to use is going to be changed to RPCA integration. Um, we're going to rename this to RPCA. We're going to change this uh, all the method reduction method going to be RPCA and this is going to be uh, RPCA clusters and this is also going to be the uh, RPCA integration um, the reduction name going to be RPCA UMAP RPCA UMAP um, uh, everything else will be no change okay we're going to run through all the command it's also going to take quite some time but it's much shorter than the CCA method all right, you're going to see this is a result coming from uh, RPCA integration, right? It could be a little bit different.